Hello, it's Reverend Judy here doing a midweek all age video for Wednesday the 5th of August. Now there's a TV programme some of you may have seen called Through the Keyhole. It goes round the house of somebody famous showing some of the things there as sort of clues and the presenter keeps asking who has a house like this? Or who does this house belong to? Well, we're going to start in the same kind of way today, but it's a garden and not a house. So come with me towards the garden gate. I wonder, as we approach the garden gate, I wonder who does this house belong to? Who does this garden belong to? Well, some of you will know, and the clue was the St Altman's at the beginning. Some of you know that actually I live in this house. But as we go through the garden gate, we'll think a little bit more about the garden. Because although I live in the house, I don't own the garden. So who does own the garden? Shall we see? Do you think it might be Honey, my dog, who's come running out into the garden to try and find a tennis ball? There we go. She loves the garden. But does the garden belong to her? Well, no, not really. Or well, what about coming along here? Can you see what's there? A bird bath. And behind the bird bath, as we move round, there's some food for the birds. Does the garden belong to the birds? Well, not really. And sometimes, as I look out of the window to the bird food, can you guess what I see there? Yeah, a squirrel, a fat, big squirrel who comes and eats all the bird food. Does the garden belong to the squirrel? Well, not really. And how about as we move down these steps towards the bottom of the garden? Well, if I turn to the left, you can see that there's quite a row of trees and bushes that goes right along the bottom of the garden. And if we come out at night, We've got some other creatures that think it's their garden. wonder if you can guess who they are. It's actually a little group of badgers and they run right along this part of the garden and go through the fence at the end there. They think it's their garden, just as Honey thinks it's her garden. And you might be able to catch some insects as we walk around the garden. Is it their garden? They might think so. So as I stand here with Honey, I've got a different answer to that question. Whose garden is it? Because I think the best way to think about it is that it's God's garden. And God gives it, if you like, loans it, lends it to me, to dogs, even to the cats that shouldn't really be in here to the squirrels, to the birds, to the insects, to the badgers. And if I think of the garden like this, it makes me more generous with it. It makes me want to share it. And there's two verses from the Bible that help me to think about this a lot. There's one verse that says, everything comes from God. Everything comes from God. And there's another verse that says, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. So this coming week, if you find yourself thinking, well, that's mine about something, change that thought into that something God has given me and has given me that I might be able to share it. Whose garden is this? God's garden. Amen.